And then Duel 112 was already upon us. I'd say I'm doing well with that at least one Yu-Gi-Oh! related video each day. I'm doing that every day, except when I'm on vacation, and I'm going on vacation quite soon, so I'm going to be on a just over two weeks hiatus. Anyway, I'm using Watts on this duel, and there's a lot of watchers, because about 15 to 20 minutes before I started this duel, I was like, okay, I'm going to record, let's have some watchers. So I put in the Dueling Network Forum status update, I'm going to be recording for a duel video in a few minutes. If you want to have a chance to be my opponent, or to just watch and chat, make sure to join. So I just hosted the duel, didn't actually accept yet, wanted a couple people to gather. At most, nine people were in the, uh, the duel room at the time, like, wanted me to accept their duel. I picked someone randomly when I was ready to record, and I believe at max there were 17 watchers at some point in my duel. It was crazy. But a lot of attention, and I like it. I decided to pull out the Watts. I was originally planning to do the Wing Karibo OTK deck request right um, right now, because I felt it was doing good, but during my test run today, I did feel that was not... not I, I uh, was sort of doubting myself again, so I'm going to do a little more testing, so... Tomorrow, or in two days from now, I'm going to do it as soon as possible, because I do want the that deck request and the one afterwards done before I go on vacation, which will be very, very soon. So let's hope that works. Um, but yeah, that needs a little more tweaking, I feel, that Wing Karibo deck, and then I'll show it to you guys soon enough. So I'm using Watts, and my opponent is using some kind of Destiny Hero Yubel kind of deck. Not really sure, but we don't really see much of Yubel or the Destiny Heroes in this deck at all, so... You know, just doesn't... I play with Watts, and there one unfortunate thing happened in this duel, and that's I believe the, one of the best cards in Watts is Watt Cobra, because you can direct attack and then add a new Watt to your hand. Not only do you get another card you can attack with, which is usually another Watt Cobra, so you can add one more card later on. Otherwise, Watt Draft to stop spells and traps, or Watt Pheasant to get rid of an excess monster and its materials. Um. It also helps with deck thinning. But yeah, I didn't draw into Watt Cobra at all. I just didn't get it, which is very unfortunate. I did draw into Watt Hopper, and so Watt Dragonfly summoned one Watt Hopper, and then normal summon the other Watt Hopper would work. But he's going to play some stuff that's going to disrupt that combo as well. So it wasn't my best duel with Watts. I did. I started decent with Messenger of Peace, uh, Magic Cylinder, Watt Draft. Doing decent, but the fact that he had Armageddon Knight meant that he needed to attack once into Magic Cylinder, I would be able to use a deal 1400 damage, but after that he could just keep attacking even under Messenger of Peace. So yeah. That is quite unfortunate. It wasn't my best duel with Watts. Mainly because it didn't start with Cobra. If you don't start with Cobra in Watts, it the difficulty level of the duel will increase, definitely. Cobra, what Cobra is a card you want to have at least one copy of in your opening hand. You want to be able to get that first direct attack off so you can add more. If it's destroyed by battle afterwards, uh, that happens sometimes. I do have the cards like Magic Cylinder to defend it, or Messenger of Peace. But if it gets destroyed, at least I have another White Cobra to replace it with and do more damage, or a what Giraffe. Or as I said, if the opponent has an Xyz monster with its Xyz materials that are very important, what Pheasant. Now, here I'm like, okay, what do I do? I could use Creature Saw, but then he's just going to give me the wrong monster. <sighs> oh, I slept already a bit in the afternoon. I'm still tired. Anyway, I'm thinking I could summon Watt Hopper, but I'm like, no, not going to do that. Watt Draft, and then set Watt Dragonfly, so that hopefully he'll attack into it with um, Armageddon Knight. And then I'll allow it, I'll summon the second Watt Hopper I have in my deck, and then summon this one. Because in this Watt build, I have two Watt Hoppers. One to be normal summoned, and one by Dragonfly. I only have one Dragonfly as well. That's uh, what's going to surprise some people later on in the duel, that if I would have had multiple Dragonflies, I would have been able to win this duel. Because I would have just been able to keep summoning a couple of monsters. So, I may change that. I have one Dragonfly because I felt other Watts would work better. I also didn't draw into any Shining Angels, which is unfortunate, but I guess I can do without that. I didn't draw into any Thunder Seahorse either, and Thunder Seahorse 
allows me to add two watt giraffes, two watt pheasants, or two watt cobras um, from my deck to my hand. I have two pheasants, three giraffes, and three cobras in this deck. So not ra not having thunder seers or watt cobra in my opening hand and not getting them the entire duel um, was very much unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I decided to go with that build um, when I made this deck, and it, I, it's still very fun to play. But and I did decide to go with two watt hoppers to actually give me the possibility of the hopper lock, but I barely ever get it out. So would I? Well, look back at this deck and decide to upgrade it with some newer cards against the newer meta, but just to change a few cards that I felt don't work that well anymore, I'll probably take out the two watt hoppers for another dragonfly and then I'll see what else I'll I'll possibly replace a couple other cards as well. <sighs> the extra deck is a little bit outdated as well, although it can definitely still function very well. I feel that like two three monsters would still be um, could be definitely be replaced. I have three Starlight Shards in this deck, three Stardust Dragons, although you barely ever get to use all three of the Starlight Roads, but I just want my spell defense, and the opponent has Dark Hole and Heavy Storm are still very common, so Starlight Road does help with Stardust Dragon, but I, the chance that I actually get to use the second or even the third Stardust Dra uh, Starlight Road isn't that big, so I'll probably take out one, maybe even two Stardust Dragons when I decide to update. And then I'll just see what I'll do later, but this deck isn't exactly on the list of decks that I want to update. Um, uh, my Lightstorm Twilight deck is definitely one I want to update. There's a couple of things I want to change about that, test some more. Um, if you remember from, like, two months ago or something, I got this um, notebook from, like, this Boo notebook from Club Nintendo. And seeing, I have all of my deck requests and deck uh, profile requests and everything in this one exercise book I used to use for school. I was like, what do I want to use this notebook for? Also, I'm totally not talking about the duel, but just enjoy the duel anyway. But yeah, I I use this notebook now to just write down decks that I want to make. And one of them is update the Twilight Lightsword deck, because that was my main for a while. I want to make a rank of magic deck with Chaos Xyz, Coach Lord, Ultimate Trainer, because it's a very special Xyz, uh, Chaos Xyz. It's quite a good card, but the fact that it requires any Xyz monster as Xyz material, and not specifically its previous form, like most Chaos Xyz and Chaos numbers do. Um, Giant Hand Red, um, uh, which is Chaos number 106, is also very special. It just requires any number as Xyz material, and not just well, number 106, and Ultimate Trainer is special in that case that it just could use any, it could use number 15, it can use number 40, it can use the rank 8 Heratic, it can use Thunder and Dragon, any rank 8 that you can think of. That's something I want to work on, and a 3 Axis Fire Fist as well, and they'll come up with many more decks. A couple I've already shown um, in duels, like the Melissa Forest. But yeah, I totally lost my train of thought, train of thought after it talks about my deck build of the Watts, and we're almost at... I want to say... Why do I want to say we're almost at the end of the duel yet? We're far from done. But yeah, so, um, my opponent summoned Flamfell Euroquizus a little earlier in the duel, and I made a semi-noobish mistake, although... I, no, it's not a noobish mistake. It's, I suppose, a mistake of inexperience. Now, I am definitely not inexperienced at Yu-Gi-Oh!, but you just don't see Flamfell Euroquizus very often. I haven't seen it for a couple of months in the deck, and I know what its effect is. I know it can inflict piercing damage, and when it inflicts battle damage, it gets some more attack. However, the moment he actually attacks with it, and I had like I choose a monster with what Dragonfly to uh, summon it to the field, I don't actually realize that Euroquizus can actually then attack that monster for a lot of damage. Now, he attacked Dragonfly earlier with it, so this summon didn't really matter, because he can only attack with Armageddon Knight. But later on in the duel, I'll be getting my what Dragonfly back to the field. Summon a monster in defense, and I could have saved myself a couple of life points by just summoning a monster with some more defense. And I didn't, because I didn't think that Flamfell Euroquizus had the piercing ability. I just it didn't come to mind. So, 
as you can see, the even experienced players like me um, make mistakes. Uh, I've done that in a good amount of duels. I make misplays. I forget about things like Euroquiza's piercing effect. Um, I remember, I don't know if it's actually in the recording, but at the end of the duel, someone asked me um, why I would upload this video, because, minor spoiler alert, I'm going to lose this duel. I'm going to lose this duel. So he asked me, why do you upload this? Why would you uh, upload something that you lost? And then I'm, I said, why would I not upload it? It was a good duel. It wasn't very one-sided. There was a lot of stuff happening. Um, yeah, unfortunate that I didn't get Thunder Sea or Watt Cobra, but it's still an interesting. It, I had fun in the duel. And I want that to come across, and a good amount of stuff happened, and that'll be interesting for my viewers. Um, and if I only upload wins, then in a sense that could become boring. It become boring because yeah, he's gonna win anyway. We know what's gonna happen, so ooh, I'll cause in the losing position. But then you know I'm gonna top deck. You're not just hoping it or not hoping it. You just know it's gonna happen because Alka only uploads wins. But seeing as I don't, in that sense, it becomes a bit more interesting and less boring. Um, and also, if I would only upload wins, that would also seem, I suppose, more egocentrical for me, and I don't want to have people think of me as a very egocentrical person. In a sense, I sort of am, but really, you know, overall, I'm not, I guess. But I'm not the ju I'm not the one to judge that. Like I feel about myself in a certain way, but it's um, others that that if I'm truly like how I am in that sense. But yeah, if I only upload wins, and I remember, I must have been almost a year ago that I was talking to someone about some Yugi tubers, and no, it was actually a, a, a Poke tuber who only uploaded uh, Wi-Fi battles that he won. He never uploaded a loss. And I'm like, okay, that's that shows the strengths of his 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 team. I want to say Dex, because it's Yu-Gi-Oh. But he, it's the strength of his team that are shown by then. But a lot of people didn't like that, because you know, he won anyway, and they didn't like him, because eh, he only uploads wins. He's, yeah, I, I don't exactly remember what they said about him, but... It, the words weren't very nice. And from what I've been telling for the last couple of minutes, you could probably understand approximately what it was. They, they just weren't nice. A good amount of people didn't mind. A lot of people didn't like it. And that's one of the reasons why I also upload losses. Like, if I happen to just win 30 dual videos in a row and they are still interesting dual videos, and they're just not very one-sided. And then I'll just upload them uh, if I win them all. And if I happen to lose 30 dual videos in a row, sure, as long as I get to actually show my deck, and it's not too one-sided, then I'll just upload it. I'll just do it. I don't mind losing. It's part of the game. If I would only win the duels, then it wouldn't be that interesting for me to play. Because, sure, I'm extremely competitive, and people around me know that, especially my mom. <laughs> um, because she knows I'm very, very competitive, and my friends know that, a good amount of my friends know that as well, I'm very competitive. And I really, really want to win. I will do a lot of things to get myself uh, to climb victory. If I lose, I can get quite angry at times, but otherwise I'm like, doesn't matter, I had fun, unfortunate, and... I'll feel bad for a little while, but then I'm like, oh, cheer up. I had a fun duel. You can't win everything. Because as I said, if you win everything, then a lot of the fun goes away. You want to win a lot, but if you win everything, the fun just goes away. You just... It's not fun. So, yeah. This is almost the end of the duel. And I haven't been talking about the duel much, so... Okay, let me guys, um, guys, let me know in the comments what did you actually think of this narration? It was I got distracted. Talk about some other stuff. This won't happen often, I can tell you that. But not that because not that I want. I'm planning to do this more often, but I just want to. I just want 
to know how you just felt about this narration. Because it may happen that I get distracted and talk about these kind of things um, some more. I talked about a couple of different subjects. Um, but if you really don't like what I said, the way I talked in this narration of this video, then just let me know in the comments. Just use nice words. I'll, I'll listen to you. And I'll just listen to that, and when I feel I get distracted during a narration, then I'll do my best to get myself back on track in the duel. And, but if you don't mind it, then occasionally I may do it this way. Um, so yeah, he um, got an he got an exact finish with Dark Reffer. Unfortunate. No Thunder Seahorse, no what Cobra that really beat me. I don't know. He he said he made a misplay about halfway through the duel. I wonder what he. I didn't exactly look into what he could have done back then. But he he won. It was a good duel. I had fun. Nick Extreme won. Thank you. And all of the watchers that came and chatted, it was fun too, although halfway through the duel, if you like go back and read the watcher chats, it there were some not very nice words, there were some FUs, there were some things that totally weren't related to the duel. Although as long as there's no fighting and arguing and FUs and that kind of stuff, then I'm fine though with that. So I'm happy a lot of people came and hope they enjoyed the duel as much as I did. Or even more. That'd be great. If they enjoyed it even more than me, then even better. I'm going to see you guys later. I'm going to do some other things. And see you later, you know? Because, you know, yeah, I, I do these kind of things. I will see you later, because I'm going to make more videos. Bye!